Alex, how's everybody doing out there? You doing alright? Oh! Uh, I want to show you guys these posters that I got from uh, Matt Panashi. I think that's how you pronounce it. How would you pronounce it, Rob? I always say Panashi, but I never Panashi. know. Uh, he does this film. Matt Pistachio. Matt Pistachio. Ooh, Pistachio ice cream. Um, he does this film series in North Carolina, Cinema Overdrive, and um, there's an awesome artist that does these prints for him. And I got a few of these prints. I want to show you guys. If you guys are interested in uh, getting any of these prints, I think there's one that's very limited and it's not available anymore. But you can get all the rest of them over at uh, CinemaOverdrive.net. And I actually do believe that. Uh he posted something that some of these prints, he's going to donate some of the money to your guys' fund to replace your uh, camera and stuff. Which makes so. it even all, even more awesome. So let's see if I can get these out here. These are... Oh, there we go. That's pretty easy. Okay, we're going to go through these. Uh, I'm going to spend a whole lot of time on them, but uh, I'll show you one by one. This one right here. And these are like screen printed, I think. Yep. Deadly Spawn. Right there. Ooh. And the artist is uh, Danny Miller, which uh, he only uses like two colors, I think, yeah. on these posters. And they all are just, I don't know, you got to see them in person too. They're even better looking in person. So that's uh, The Deadly Spawn, baby, a cinema overdrive. And each time they have one of these movies showing... Uh, they do like a limited print for these, and this was like limited to uh, 30. I got number 20 out of 30. It's pretty sweet, isn't it, Rob? Yeah, it is. I'm really jealous. I wish that I lived closer to this place because I would be there. Hell yeah. Because they just have, I mean, it's not just, oh, look, we find old movies. They play awesome old movies. I mean, they've got a great list of stuff going on. Uh, Matt well, actually wants me next. to do one of the posters for him, but I don't know how to do that, get that set up for screen yeah, printing. I need to learn to do that. I would have no clue. This one's really cool, too. I'd like to frame all these, but I just don't have room, I don't think. But, uh, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And they had a screening of that along with Evil Dead 2, a double feature. How awesome would that shit have been? Yeah. And uh, this was limited to 60 prints. I think all these so far you can still get on the website, so if you're interested in that, go right ahead, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Just a really, and this was like at least, <laughs> I'm thinking three colors. So this is a Texas chili. Father, Daughters, and Sons, Texas chili. Three or four colors on this one. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sweet. That's oh. awesome. And then a couple more. Three more. Check this one. This is the uh, Evil Dead. It goes along with it. Ashley J. Williams. Where'd they get the J at? I don't remember them ever saying his full name. I don't know if that came from the comic books or if that's from the movies. I don't know. But yeah, but yeah I think uh, Danny Miller, the, the guy, he's done all these so far. I think he does all of them. No, they have different artists that oh, really? do them, but he did all these, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. Did he do the Deadly Spawn? Yeah. Okay. Ashley J. Williams. At least I believe he has different artists, because when he talked to me about it, he said like they have different people do different stuff. And yeah. Like, but, yeah, I mean, these things are like, I don't know what you think. Yeah, in person, they just look. Yeah, like, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know if it really translates as good on camera, but, uh. Uh, man amazing. should uh, do a con and just sit up and sell these posters at a con because oh, I'd yeah. be all over this stuff. Yeah, there's a couple more here. Now, this one's pretty badass. I just love the bright green. That's dead pit green up there. Yeah. Demons. This is beautiful. Into. This one right here. There's only 15 of these. Oh, you serious? Yeah. God, I gotta act quick because this is one that I definitely want. I mean, that is that line work is just beautiful. Yeah. So you know all the technical artistic mumbo jumbo so I don't know it just looks to me it looks off the chain <laughs> but uh yeah that's one I might try to uh, frame and if we get to meet Derry Argento at upcoming show it'd be a cool thing for him to sign too hell yeah well that's just that, that one's my favorite well this one right here is my favorite 
You will soon see why, baby. Uh oh, what's this one? There you go. I gotta get the whole thing for original Halloween. And this is one that uh, you can't buy, actually. This isn't for sale. Meanwhile, in Haddonfield. Yeah, it's like a comic. It's home. sort of like a comic book. And this is one I need to get framed pretty soon. So it's like, uh, I made 78 of these. Of course, because the movie came out in 78, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. But uh, something about some sort of agreement they had with uh, the people that own Halloween, like a card family. Uh, that they can't sell these. So this makes it even more rare. So they're just like giving them out to people they are friends with, which I'm lucky enough here. Yeah. But I thought Matt was my friend. I didn't get one. That's sad. That makes me sad, Matt. I thought we was buddies. This was sponsored by the Myers House in North Carolina, too. I don't know if you know about that. Um, this guy who's a mega fan made an exact replica of the Myers house. Uh, actually, that guy who's a mega fan's wife let him make a replica yes. of the Myers house. That's, That's pretty a... hardcore right there. <laughs> That's just awesome. So, yeah, a lot of... I'm confused. Like, I was talking to Nathan from Whorehound. Like, why there aren't any horror conventions in North Carolina? Because there's a lot of fucking horror fans that come up and just people that do these screenings and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, check out, like, if you like any of this stuff, um, cinemaoverdrive.net, they do uh, the screenings. I think uh, Adam Hewlin is also, like, a close friend of ours at Dead Pit. He, along with Matt, do these screenings, like, every month at least. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get the prints. I know they've got, like, uh, Missing in Action. they got a new one for Missing in Action. And uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, one and a half, I think. They, they've got, like, half of part two which is all you really need if you've seen something like that. <laughs> Not too. And my understanding, too, is they have a really great collection of trailers that they show, like, all old trailers yeah. before and after and before. No, those, yeah, I mean, the guys, uh, I've gotten all of my prints off those guys, too, the Madman stuff, and so they really know, like, how to find and track down all these movies. But, uh, yeah, cinemaoverdrive.net, go check it out. They're great guys. Buy some prints. Danny Miller is an awesome artist, and... Uh, yeah, I look forward to getting more stuff in the future, and this is definitely hanging up somewhere in the uh, you know, Creepy Kentuckians abode. So enjoy, and keep creepy, everybody.